If you want a lesson in the power of positive thinking, listen to Naomi. She has more reason to complain than most, but that's just not her style. It was the 11th of November, 2017, at approximately around six o'clock, and that's a day that I cannot forget. Naomi Landstra was just 13 when she got the news she'd been diagnosed with cancer. There were many nights where I would be staying awake, thinking of, of, of the what ifs, and, and what if it didn't go so well. Naomi endured as chemotherapy attacked the disease within her young body. Parents, Peter and Mary Ann, a constant bedside support. I think it, no matter how old you are, it's scary to go through. Um, but I'm so grateful to, ha to have had them there in the room with me every single day, every single night, in case anything happened. Happy birthday! With optimism and resilience, <laughs> Naomi went into remission. Returning home to mum, dad and brother Thomas. But last year, Naomi got a sense that the unthinkable may occur. In March last year, I had had a dream while I was on holiday that I had relapsed. And I've, I'm, not, I, I'm lucky enough to not suffer from nightmares that often, so it was a bit of a shock. And then months later, I relapse. Such news can break a person, but not Naomi. Her latest tests are positive and with a wisdom beyond her years, she's adopted a mantra to attack each day. Just to try things and I think that's very important to do in life because it's so short and it's something that you can do to really live a life, just to try things. Make each day count. Absolutely. Yeah. But there's one subject that lights up Naomi like nothing else. This teenager loves her Formula One. The adrenaline, the community, the sport, the cars. <laughs> um, and what a, uh, it's just an amazing event. And it's, it's a sport that I, I don't think my 13 year old self would have ever believed I'd be into something like this, but I am and, and I love it. Naomi's even considered a career in the sport. So, as a special surprise, children's cancer charity My Room organised a once-in-a-lifetime pit stop, bringing an F1 car to Naomi's family home. So, Naomi, your front yard looks a little different today. Oh, my God. <laughs> no way! This isn't the family car, is it? No, but I wish it was. <laughs> oh, my God! Look at that. It's so shiny. It is. Red goes faster, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 Absolutely. <laughs> wow. There's a flap that opens up called DRS, Drag Reduction System, okay. and that'll open up in certain zones on the track. Naomi's still on her L plates, so she made some custom changes to the car. What do you think? I reckon that's perfect. <laughs> My Room CEO, Margaret Zeta. I wish there were more days like this, Seb. It's wonderful to see a family like Naomi's um, just absolutely relish in this amazing experience. And before the chequered flag waved on this special day, there was one more surprise. Have you ever been to the Melbourne Grand Prix? No. Well, I've got some news for you. Thanks to the Australian Grand Prix Corporation, there are four tickets with your name on it to this year's race and some <laughs> special behind the scenes access as well to see what the Formula One industry is all about. No oh. way. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh my God, that, that's amazing. Thank you so, so much. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> 